Embracing your feminine energy, the powerful path to self-discovery. I'll see you right after this. Hello and welcome to the Black Swan Relationship Academy. My name is Chengi. I am your dating and relationship expert here at the Black Swan Relationship Academy, where we teach you ladies how to present as a high value, high status and high worth woman that high quality men find completely irresistible. If that is you, you are absolutely on the right channel and let us proceed with today's video. The reality of the matter is that in order to embody your femininity, there has to be a conscious and deliberate effort to accept your vulnerabilities. You know, we always ask you, we always say feminine energy is passive, patient, and vulnerable, according to Dr. Pat Allen. However, that's easier said than done. It rolls up the tongue beautifully, passive, patient, vulnerable. Oh, that's nice. We can feel it like a petal in the sky, like a feather floating vulnerably, patiently, beautifully, softly. We can buy into that image, but the reality of actually walking in feminine energy, of actually embodying and embracing feminine energy is really much harder because it requires a self-discovery because many of us believe that our personality is who we truly are. Our personality is the evolution of our ego and our ego is the adaptation and the, the characteristics we develop to survive our childhood trauma. And so our personality is what we show up in the world with in order to stay safe, in order to regulate our world, to have some sense of management and to avoid being hurt. So maybe your personality is loud and maybe you are the life and soul of the body. And maybe you are this person who is just FFS and maybe you are the don't take no crap from anybody kind of person. Maybe your personality swears and you are just that personality type that is just the least possible feminine woman. However, understanding that that is your personality, that is who you think you are, or who you think you have to be in the world to stay safe, to stay in your position of survival. When we begin to talk about feminine energy, we can't just address the outworkings of our personality. We can't just address the ego. We have to really do some introspection and self-discovery. Who am I really? When I'm not trying to stay safe, when I'm not trying to prove something to the world, show that I am perfect, do all of these things, who am I really? Now, the course that will help you really dive deeply into this question of the ego is the Nice Girl Rehab Reloaded. In this course, we go into understanding the ego, why it exists, who it is, and how to manage its management of our lives and put it in this place where it is safe, where it is useful, and it won't sabotage us. But you have to remember that the ego is covering something. It is protecting something. And that thing is the real you. It is your essence, the very essence of who you are, the untapped, untouched natural resource that is wise, happy, healthy, and feminine is being covered by the ego. But why? Because it is so beautiful and so delicate. But you see, because the world is so ugly sometimes and the experiences we go through in this world are so awful sometimes that we are afraid that if we see past our ego into ourselves, we may not like what we see. We're afraid that perhaps our inner self might be a perfect reflection of the world that we live in. However, it is our ego that reflects the world we live in, the circumstances that we're raised in. I find that with our clients, it's very easy for them to begin to feel that I don't want to explore in there. It's ugly. It's painful. It's difficult. I don't want to discover that I might be actually vulnerable, 
that I might actually be soft and feminine, that I might actually need somebody, that I might actually need to be loved and to be held. I might actually need to be seen and heard. That can be scary because then how do I meet that need? How do I do that for myself and who in this ugly world would do it for me? So it's just better if we stay strong, if we keep to our personality and deny ourselves our needs being met. I understand that. That was me for a very, very long time. Afraid to look within, afraid that I would see what I did not like. However, just the experience of all of our clients, including our coaches and myself, as we journey through this healing path and through the self-awareness path that we all take through the Soulmate Attraction System course, which by the way, is now offering group coaching sessions, running um, weeks upon weeks, and really just you will have an opportunity to really be with a class and be with a cohort and grow together. When we're doing this journey, we do discover at the end that we're actually more beautiful, more precious, more loving, more loved than we actually believe we were. We begin to develop tools, skills, practices that uphold our ability to show up in the world as we really and truly are. We begin to self-discover. And that is the beginning of our relationship with ourselves. A lot of us have never met ourselves. We other people who are maybe insightful, who are prophetic, you know, who have this ability to see essence and to see energy and to read energy, have met our essence. They have met that warm, beautiful, soft side of us. But often our ego gets in the way and not everybody gets to experience that part of us, including ourselves. We don't always get to meet the kind and thoughtful and sweet side of ourselves because we have her hidden in case she invites danger. I want to thank you so much for your support of this channel. You mean the world to me. And I am so grateful that you, your likes, your subscriptions, your comments, make this work possible. I'd really want to encourage you before you go any further, if you are enjoying this content, hit that like button, subscribe, and share this video with somebody that you know will absolutely benefit because you're changing not only your life, not only the life of your friends, but the lives of women all over the world and children in ways you cannot even begin to imagine. So don't forget before we get back to the program to hit that like button and share, subscribe and comment. Thank you. So where do we begin? Number one, the journey starts with self-acceptance and authenticity. We cannot be authentic until we absolutely accept ourselves. This is the hard part. This is the difficult part. Because we have to not only accept that which is light and beautiful about ourselves, we also have to accept our shadow. We also have to accept the bits about ourselves that come with shame. The bits about ourselves that we have had guilt and shame surrounding. We have to accept the parts of ourselves that made those decisions, that are making these decisions to be who we have been or be the person that we're not so proud to own and, and, and to possess as, our, as ourselves. We have to own the part of our shadow that is angry, perhaps even bitter, perhaps loathing, resentful, jealous, envious. We have to accept parts of ourselves that are needy, that are clingy, that are not so beautiful, not so praiseworthy, but they are still who we are. They're still a part of who we are. And we can teach those parts to work in our favor. We can teach these parts to teach us that there's a, they're giving us a signal to be better. But until you can accept them and integrate them into who you are, until you can map who you are on a piece of paper, your likes, your hates, your, your tendencies for pettiness, as well as your golden shadow, the things that you admire in other people, the people, the, the people that you look up to think, wow, she's amazing. Those qualities exist in you too. You have to accept that they exist in you. You wouldn't love them in another person if they were not on the inside of you. So accepting the full width, breadth, and depth of who we are, good, bad, ugly, and indifferent, is the beginning of the self-acceptance journey that leads to a true, authentic self 
and a true healing journey, a true powerfully healing journey. The next part is balancing your energy. Coming to a place of self-discovery is first discovering whether you sit in your feminine or your masculine. Do you know if you sit in your feminine or masculine? If you had asked me 10 years ago, if I was sitting in my feminine or masculine, I would look at you. I would invite you to look at me. And I'd say, what do you think? Because I would have been 100% convinced that I was an absolute feminine woman, honey. Only to realize as I went through the journey of learning about the energies that indeed I was very much a masculine energy woman. Very well presented. I signaled as a feminine woman, maintained as a feminine woman, moved like a feminine woman, spoke like a feminine woman. For all intents and purposes, I was a feminine woman, but that was only skin deep. Internally, I was masculine. Everything was hard, tough, focused, no nonsense, goal oriented. I was like that in my relationships. I was blunt. I was direct. I was very much, very much a masculine energy woman. And I didn't understand why I had masculine men running out the door being that I was so feminine, only to realize that the embodiment of femininity is a complete identity shift, mindset shift, and a willingness to be vulnerable to change. You have to understand. And if you're asking me, how am I going to do that? Well, that is why I created the Feminine Energy Mastery Class. This is a two-hour session that breaks down the components of the masculine and the feminine. What this course will do is help you understand what the feminine looks like, what the masculine looks like, what the feminine moves like, what the masculine moves like. And what will happen is you'll begin to see which traits you operate in. It will go deeply into the psychology of the feminine and, and masculine, the left-brained activity and the right-brained activity, the science and the psychology, and the spirituality around being feminine. It's worth you doing that to understand the balance. Number three, you have to be open to connection and empathy. You cannot empathize unless you are connected. In order to connect, you have to be vulnerable and open. And so you have to really have that bravery and really have that done that inner work, the work that allows your essence to lead the way. Your essence will be more vulnerable. Your essence has its own inner wisdom. Your essence has its own protection mechanism. Your essence will allow you to connect with others and through that connection be, be able to empathize. Embracing feminine energy will absolutely help you enhance your connection on a deeper level. When you embrace your feminine energy, you find that your relationships are way more meaningful, way more powerful, way more potent. So embrace that feminine energy. Be that sweet, loving woman that is able to connect. Why is connection so important? Because when we connect, it's like putting a, 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 a pipe into an ocean. When you connect, resources come your way. Emotional resources come your way. You open yourself up to receive the love you crave and deserve. You open yourself up to receive the friendships and the connection and the com companionship that you crave and deserve which is how you enhance your whole life, whether it is dating, whether it is relationships, whether it is work, whatever it is. As you begin to take the journey of self-discovery by embracing your feminine energy, you will find yourself on the most powerful path ever where things come to you, where opportunities, success, high quality, high value relationships have a way of gravitating to you. I hope that this video was helpful. I look forward to seeing you in my next one. In the meantime, do take care of you. Love you a lot. Bye-bye now.
Simple steps to join Black Swan community. Download the Black Swan app from either Google Play Store or Apple Store. It's your Launch the app and tap on register. Put in your valid information, then tap and continue. Put in the verification code sent to your email to authenticate your account. Then log in to your account. Be sure to accept all permissions displayed at installation stage to enjoy all the cool features in the app. You can now enjoy community of high value women with support from coaches and trainers. Book calls with coaches, chat, post and interact with the community. Enjoy.